Hello and welcome to the world of astronomy. Today we will talk about a famous personality, one of the greatest scientists who gave unity in two things: unification. After Newton. Michael Faraday was the second person who gave a great unification. He unified electricity and magnetism. But one of the important thing about him is he was a chemist. Yes, you heard it right. He was a chemist. Michael Faraday, who was born in 22nd September 1791 in London, was a poor man, a poor boy, born in a poor family of blacksmiths. Did not even have much to eat, or to take care of health, or to have good education. Faraday has only rudimentary or elementary schooling, just to read and write things, and had to earn for his family, as his father did not have good health. Michael Faraday worked as a newspaper delivery boy, and after that started working. In a bookbinding store, while binding books, he found interested in learning the things related to science, chemistry, and physics. One of the customers, one of the customers in his shop or in that shop, was so interested. And impressed by him, that he gave him a ticket to attend a lecture, which was to be given by Sir Humphrey Davy in Royal Institution. Faraday did not like the chance to go, and he jumped and went to attend the lecture. He attended all the four lectures given by Sir Humphrey Davy related to electricity and chemistry. And how the things work in a battery. Sir Humphrey Davy was the person who invented or discovered many things in the field of chemistry, like nitrous oxide, which was at that time used to be like alcohol, but it has less effects than alcohol. Michael Faraday took all his lectures, attended all his lectures, and written all the things which Sir Humphrey said in those lectures. Wrote all the important points and things with beautiful diagrams, and bound a book and sent to Davy with a letter that he needed employment. After some time, when there was a vacation or a place vacancy there in his laboratory, Michael Faraday was called, and it was a turning point in his life when he had all the things before his hands or before his eyes, so that he can perform the experiments he wanted, and he wanted to live in that kind of world with chemicals. While working there, Michael Faraday discovered benzene and other things too. In 1820, Sir Christian Oersted discovered a phenomena or a relationship that, when a current passes through a wire, it deflects the needle kept near it. It deflects that magnetic needle. But what is the reason? Because at that time the current was only said to be flowing through the wire, 
not around the wire or away from the wire or some something like that. Michael Faraday visualized and found out the relationship that how current which is flowing through the wire can deflect the magnetic needle. He gave the right and exact relationship between electricity and magnetism. He was the first person who developed an electric motor, the first electric motor and dynamo. In those time to be a scientist or to attend the lectures given by scientists was only in the favor of healthy people. Michael Faraday being poor became a greatest scientist. So uh, this biography is to tell and to make you motivated that many of us or many of we think that all the things which make us weak or the things which are hard come in our life like the hardships and we try to be not to pass or we feel failed or weak or we can't face just learn about the people like Michael Faraday and there is one more Henry if you have heard about his name Joseph Henry he was also same like Faraday born in a poor family had to work in his childhood because father was ill had to work in a laboratory as an assistant worker and built his own intellectual to do something in the field of science and both of them became great scientists in the field of electricity from the beginning to the end there is a great similarity in between the both of these two thank you very much please love it and love your life Have a good day.